Agency in Motion continuing series. Today, what we want to concentrate on is partner and client persona. It's very important that you understand who you're looking to work with, why you're looking to work with that particular person, and then both how to locate that person and what is your message to that particular person. It's a lot easier to build a business on the client and partner side if you've got a solid persona that you stick to. just makes things a lot easier. So here's some things that you want to look for. For purposes of today's episode, we're going to be mainly concentrating on using this persona from a partner perspective, but it goes on both sides. It's very easy to um, go with the client persona as well. But first thing we want to look at is background. So as you're building an agency or a portfolio of agencies, you're going to be looking for certain types of people that you want to bring in because bringing in the wrong type of people, putting time, energy, resources behind those people to get no return um, becomes a grind and it can financially ruin your ability to go forward because time is an investment. You've got to get a return on that. So the background, you know, are you looking for people with sales, hiring, marketing, management, business or team development, you know, a history of being able to handle commitments such as, you know, higher education. Are they married? Do they have children? Uh, do they own a house and handle a mortgage? Are they involved in community organizations? So you want a solid background inside your persona so you know who you're looking for. Second thing we want to talk about is identifiers. These are the characteristics of the people that you want to bring in and work with who can help you with this build out. Um, you know, are they high achievers? Do they have determination? Are they, you know, having the ability to lead, the desire to learn and improve on themselves? Uh, are they forward thinking? Do they have a vision for what can be? In other words, you know, a growth mindset. Third thing is goals. You know, what are they looking to do? Do they have high ambitions? Are they self-reliant? Um, are they looking for things like financial, lifestyle, time freedom? Are they looking to be a business owner? Are they looking to help others? Um, are they someone who sets and exceeds benchmarks? Are they someone who incorporates leadership into their goals? You know, those extrinsic values or the extrinsic motivations, uh, goals bigger than themselves, is something that uh, will greatly help you in terms of how you're searching for qualified partners who to bring in. Next thing is challenges. You know, what are they challenged with right now in whatever else they're doing professionally? Is there not enough time in the day? Um, do they, are they locked in, you know, inefficient models or dying businesses? Are they on the wrong place of the cash flow quadrant? Are they looking for ways to streamline what they're already doing? Are they struggling with lead generation? Are they not getting the type of management, support, training, tools, and resources they need? Um, are they in a start or growth expansion capital or infrastructure stage where they don't have the necessary resources to go forward? If you've got those challenges, those are problems they're facing. If you can offer solutions to those problems, uh, those particular people make very good partners. Next is demographics. You know, who are you looking for? What ages are you looking for? Uh, what type of history? Maybe in terms of six-figure earnings or the potential to make six figures. You know, self-employed, business owner, entrepreneurial, or at least having the entrepreneur mindset and looking to make that jump. Interest. You know, what do they like to do? Are they interested in technology? If you're building a company based on digital technologies and innovations, and someone you know is not okay with technology, they don't like being around technology, um, it's not a good partner. It's a waste of both sides' time. So um, do they like marketing? Are they interested in your client product and services? Are they someone who likes to network? Do they have a social life that includes friends, family members, as well as charitable causes, organizations? And then if they're spending their time online, you know, what are they doing? Um, once again, if you are building a new company that involves a lot of technology and digital aspects of that company, you want people comfortable with that um, and in a place where they enjoy being around that. So that's today's episode on the client and partner persona, making sure you understand who you're looking for, why, um, so that you go through the process of hiring the right people. So that time investment from your side gets a return the mutually beneficial relationship forms, and you get the leaders that you're looking for um, as you start to get bigger and scale your organization.